What is up, everybody? It is Doogie, and this is Doogie's Horror Den, and this is part two of my Halloween hangover show. And uh, But before I get into these next three movies, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and tell me what was your favorite Halloween-themed horror movie this year, and your favorite halloween themed horror movie ever because after i review these next three movies i'm going to give you not top five but my top 10 halloween horror movies of all time for me for me okay i have three levels of horrorness it is M Murder, bad movie, never want to watch it again. Let's throw it up, crumple it up, and throw it in the damn garbage. We have MD, Murder Death, which is an okay movie. I may or may not watch it again. Just not sure. And then there's MDK. You already know what MDK is. MDK is a movie that is an instant classic that you want to watch it over and over again it scared you it made you feel anxiety all those feelings came to fruition while you were watching this movie that is an mdk so my horror peeps let us dive into let's pick apart this first movie and this first movie came out in 2023 directed by colin Krawchuk. Right now, it is on Shudder. And this movie is called The Jester. Now, still not really sure what this movie is about even after I have watched it. Because it's about this guy who... or It's probably not a guy. It's probably a demon, obviously, because of what the shit goes on. Um, he picks somebody, and if they don't write their wrong, they end up screwed. You know, uh, it's very, very, very strange. This happened on Halloween. And it starts out with uh, this jester guy picking apart this father who's trying to reconnect with his daughter. She doesn't want to talk to him, so he ends up expiring. And then the jester just seems to go on a rampage on everybody who surrounded this guy. And um, it's very, very strange. It's not scary. It's just kind of like eerie. Some parts, anyway. Some parts are funny. Like, uh, for example, when the one girl is trying is trying to tell the cops that this clown-looking person is following them, he shows up in the liquor store, and the cops are there, and the jester takes his hat off, puts it on the cop's head, and pulls it off, and his head's gone, but it's just a nub on his neck, and it's that like probably like the best part of the movie. Uh, it was crazy. That part was funny as hell. Um, the gesture for me, I wanted to like it more, uh, but it just didn't grab me like I thought it was going to. So for that, my horror peeps, it is a M D for me. So uh, let's take a sip for the gesture on Shutter right now. And so they don't really explain the jester. So I'm sure that you will see another one. I mean, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was received well by other people. But by me, it's just like, eh, I probably won't watch it again. So that's the first one. Number two. Two. I'm trying to hide. Oh, perfect. Two. Number two. The second movie on my list is a movie that came out in 2017. It's an anthology movie directed by multiple directors. Uh, right now, it is on like every streaming service still. It's on Tubi. Uh, it's everywhere. Um, it's five stories, five Halloween-themed story. The movie's called 1031, and I didn't know they made it two and a three, so... On next year's Halloween show, I will be reviewing 1031-2 and 1031-3. Um, 
unlike the other uh, anthology movies that I recently reviewed, which was All Hallows Eve 2 and Tales of Halloween, this one I liked a lot. It was five stories. It actually had a beginning, a middle, and an end to each story. And it, each story was was creepy. It was scary. It was, you know, some parts were funny. But you know what? It was a good movie. It was a great, actually, it's a great Halloween horror movie. And you all should check it out. Um, like I said, it's five stories. It's an anthology. The movie's called 1031. You definitely should check it out. It's definitely going to be on my rotation for... Uh, watching this movie every Halloween. So uh, for that, dent, didn't, dent, didn't. MDK, everybody. Cheers, skull, hoist, salute to 1031. Yes, I was really pleasantly surprised on how much I liked 1031 because you know what I watched um, Tales of Halloween which was okay uh, All Hallows Eve 2 which was a train wreck a piece of crap and I was really you know do I watch it you know I want a good anthology like Southbound was great I mean it wasn't a Halloween themed one but um, Southbound was a real good one uh, Books of Blood was a really good one as well but 1031 got me it got me good so i don't have a third finger but now it's time for my third oh i almost gave you the middle finger that would have been funny as hell right so our third movie on my halloween hangover show is a movie that came out this year 2024 uh directed by matt sampier samper uh it's on tubi screenbox uh it was uh, produced by Screenbox and Bloody Disgusting. But they're starting to crank out the good movies. Um, this movie is called Creeping Death. Now, this movie is about a bunch of... Um, are they teenagers or young adults who steal this sack from this crazy guy's house? And what it does, it awakens this Halloween creature who comes out and expires people who ruin Halloween or something like that so the effects on this creature was awesome I loved it like he's going around he has like this like odd clothing has long hair but inside his eye sockets they, they kind of resemble fire and lava but it's all kind of like, kind of like a jack-o-lantern it was awesome it was really cool and um, this creature um, the only way to stop it was to sacrifice somebody you love. And um, I don't want to give away the ending because the, the person who got expired deserved it at that last second. And it was awesome. Um, Creeping Death had a lot of good expirings. The story was good. Uh, the creature was good. Practical effects. Um, it was a lot of fun to watch. And those are the type of Halloween-themed horror movies that you want to watch around that time of year. So Creeping Death, ladies and gentlemen, and monsters and creatures and zombies and whoever else is out there, MDK for Creeping Death. The only thing, if there was one thing that I could say that I didn't like about the movie Creeping Death... Is that it didn't have the song by Metallica, Creeping Death. You know, I saw the title, but it's going to have it in there so sooner or later. No. So, that is the only drawback from watching Creeping Death. But besides that, it was a really good Halloween-themed horror movie. Cheers. Skull. Salute. Hoist. Salute. Whatever. Just drink. Yes. So with this show so far, one MD, two MDKs. That is a great Halloween hangover show for some good Halloween themed horror movies. Now,
No? Let me try the hands. Maybe that'll work a little better. All right, everybody. Before I get into my favorite Halloween horror movie list, the top ten list, I do have some, uh, some skull hoist salute cheers glasses to show you. Because, you know, they're all horror themed. Obviously, you've seen, you know, the, uh, the Michael Myers have a nice day. You got that one. Also, we have, I mean, it could be scary. If you ever watch uh, No One Will Save You, Aliens, Area 51, right? Then we have our little doll friend, Chucky. <laughs> I guess that's what Chucky does, right? Yes. And of course, time to float Pennywise. It. Now, you all know him, you know, Mr. Freddy Krueger. Never sleep again. And then, I think this is like probably my favorite one. That uh, Evil Dead, my boomstick. Kick ass, right? <laughs> all right, so, ladies and gentlemen, horror peeps, let us dive into my top 10. Halloween themed horror movies. Coming in at number 10 is the movie I just reviewed, 1031. Um, like I said, great, great story. It was a lot of fun. This is a type of movie that you want to see every Halloween. And I could, you know what? I would slash that with Creeping Death because Creeping Death was a great, great Halloween themed horror movie as well. So we'll do, we'll, we'll do like a double team at number 10. Coming in at number nine is Art the Clown's Terrifier. Now, Terrifier 1, Terrifier 2, and even All Hallows Eve are all uh, Halloween-themed horror movies. So that's why I just put Terrifier. Uh, I can't put Terrifier 3 because it's a Christmas movie. So uh, that will not be on my Halloween horror movie list, but um, Terrifier in at number 9 with Art the Clown and his sadistic, crazy-ass self, which I absolutely love. <clears throat> Coming in number 8 is kind of an obscure Halloween-themed horror movie called Trick, and that is about a killer who goes on a rampage on Halloween, and uh, Jamie Kennedy is in it, uh, It's Omar Epps is in it. No, not Omar. Is it Omar Epps? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it's great. It's a great movie. Uh, who done it? Why is this person doing it? He's killing in masks. He twists the mask around when he's about to kill. It's great. Check it out. Coming in at number seven is a movie that's about haunted houses, sort of. I mean, yeah, I guess you can count it that. Uh, this movie is called The Houses October Built. It's about a group of friends who are trying to scare their friend and try and find the scariest haunted house. And they come across these people wearing these masks, and they bring them to this place, and uh, it's a ride. It's a ride. There is a sequel. The sequel isn't as good as the first one, but it's a decent end to that story. So you definitely should check out The Houses October Bill. That's right now, I believe, on Shudder. Um, where else is it? Oh, excuse me. I don't remember what else it's on. Right now, it's on Shudder. Um, coming in at number six is a movie called Haunt. This movie is also about a haunted house, and it's crazy, absolutely insane. I love this movie. It did scare me. I have a thing with eyes, and when the part comes with the guy and the needle going in the eye, you're like, yeah, oh! Uh, again, a group of friends who see this haunt sign. It says haunted house, but only the haunt part is kind of like lighting up more than the rest. You already know off the beaten path we're going to a haunted house yeah probably not the safest place to go and they learned that lesson bad definitely check out haunt right now i think haunt's on tubi it's on amazon uh it's still on all the free uh services so go check it out now here's my top five everybody you ready coming in at number five is a movie called bad candy now, this movie is about two late-night radio uh, shock jock hosts in Salem, Massachusetts, who are telling these urban legends about Halloween, 
And when they're telling these stories, the stories are happening around the town, and then it all comes to fruition, it all comes together at the end at the radio station, of course. And it stars Zach Gilligan, who played uh, Billy in the Gremlins movies, and Corey Taylor, who's the lead singer of Stone Sour and Slipknot. So it was really, really good. Check it out. That is on, I believe that's on Tubi as well. It's also on Fandango at Home. Definitely check that out as well. Now, coming in at number four. Now, this movie came out way back in April. And it's going to be my fourth favorite Halloween themed horror movie of all time. And this movie's called Late Night with the Devil. It starred, stars David Dasmachian and as Jack Delroy, who's trying to win Sweeps Week because he's a late night radio host or late night TV host. And he's about to do whatever it takes to be number one. And it is crazy. And you're watching it because it takes place in like 1978, 1979. And when you're watching it, you actually think like you're watching a late night television show that goes crazy. And it does. It is an amazing movie. I was able to watch that movie at an old theater, and it, it was just awesome. Uh, check out Late Night with the Devil. It's on Hulu and Shudder right now. Uh, coming in at number three of my all-time list of Halloween-themed horror movies is Hell House LLC. Now, this movie's on Tubi, Shudder, it's on everywhere, and it's about these group of people who buy this hotel that's supposedly haunted and turn it into a haunted house for Halloween. And, uh, well, on opening night, mm -mm 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 -mm. things go crazy. If you are scared of clowns, definitely watch it, because, <laughs> because it'll scare you. This movie is very, very scary, and it's not all like jump out scare you this and that like jump scares I and mean, there, there's some in there but it's the ones that's like you're watching this part and something's over here and you have to, and you're looking behind the person that's talking it's just the little things here and there that that make it very very scary and it's really really good so check out hell house llc now coming in at number two is a movie from 2008 called Trick or Treat, and it's an anthology movie where everybody was introduced to Little Sam. And he is supposed to be the spirit of Halloween. Don't ever, ever take down your Halloween decorations or blow out a jack-o'-lantern before Halloween is over, because he'll come. And he'll mess you up. And it's five different stories. It's a lot of fun. It's scary. It's buddy. It is a good time. So if you haven't, check out Trick or Treat, which I'm sure by now most of you have. If you haven't, it's on Max right now. So go check out Trick or Treat. You won't be disappointed. Now, I think everybody who knows me knows what my number one movie is going to be of Halloween-themed horror movies. So I'm going to go right into it. 1978's original Halloween is my all-time favorite Halloween-themed horror movie and my all-time favorite horror movie, period. Everybody knows the story of Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, so I don't have to tell you about this movie. But just know that it started it all, and you need to watch it if you haven't. And if you have, you already know it is that good and scary. So let's throw up a uh, cheers to all these movies that made it to my top ten list. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode of my Halloween-themed horror movies and, of course, my last three Halloween-themed movies that I talked about. Until next time, my horror peeps. Watch a Halloween-themed horror movie. Because what's it going to do? Scare you.